We turn to Canada. In the capital, Ottawa, protesters and vehicles have been blocking the streets for a third street weekend. Thousands of demonstrators against the pandemic restrictions gathered on Saturday around Parliament Hill. Ontario's provincial Supreme Court had ordered truckers to end their blockade of the Ambassador Bridge on the border with the United States. William Denslow reports from Ottawa. Well, there's certainly some determination as far as elected officials are concerned and the health department has issued a warning because of frostbite, frostbite conditions here but as you can probably see behind me thousands of people are again uh, on the streets here in Ottawa demanding change demanding for uh, vaccine mandates to be scrapped other COVID restrictions to be scrapped as well there are messages people chanting freedom freedom, freedom. One speaker who uh, addressed the crowd just an hour or so ago had a very clear message. He said, we're winning and they, as in the officials here in Canada, are scrambling. Now, as far as officials are concerned, what we've heard from the chief of police, he says that he's calling for more resources, resources that they say uh, will allow them to clear the streets, to allow downtown uh, to essentially return to normalcy. Uh, that has not happened and of course uh, people here are adamant that they want to see real action, they want to see officials drop these restrictions, drop these mandates before uh, they allow downtown to return essentially uh, to normal life. But of course we've heard from uh, the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, he says that action is being taken. We've heard from Doug Ford, the Premier here uh, in the province as well, saying that uh, more action will be taken and uh, things will return to normal, saying that they are adamant uh, that essentially the status on the ground isn't acceptable and going forward more will be done uh, to remove the uh, blockades and to try and get a degree of normalcy returned to here in downtown Ottawa. Across the Atlantic in Paris, thousands attempted a similar demonstration as the Canadian truckers on Saturday in Champs-Élysées. Police fired tear gas to disperse those demonstrators. Ryan Thompson reports from Paris. It was a so-called rally for liberty. Liberté! Liberté! That took over Paris's Champs-Élysées for several hours. Protesters had been told this demonstration was not allowed, but hundreds of people defied the authorities' decision and parked their cars on the iconic avenue anyway. Police did not hold back in responding after warning protesters to move on. This was us live on CGTN's Facebook page. As you see the blockade of police coming up the Champs-Élysées Avenue, moving people, telling them to either get in their cars or get out of here. Soon after, tear gas went flying. In total, dozens of protesters were arrested, while hundreds more were ticketed for their participation. Protesters came from around France and were united in their opposition to vaccine pass rules. They imposed their dictatorship on us, like getting vaccinated in order to go to work, to go to a restaurant, or to enjoy any activity. But no, that is not freedom. It's not imposing a pass to go to eat, to do your shopping or whatever. Some also touted yellow vests, hoping to revive the momentum and message of the yellow vest protests from 2018. Police had tried to keep the convoy out of the city in the morning, but checkpoints on the road only stopped so many. And French President Emmanuel Macron is very much the target of many protesters' anger. They say they're ready to vote him out of office and his opponents in when elections finally roll around in April. Macron himself says the protesters' points are legitimate, but urges them to stay calm and find another way to discuss these issues. Ryan Thompson, CGTN, Paris.